Poor boy helped rich girl without knowing who she really was. Rain tapped a rhythmic beat on the streets. A city's nocturne played out in the hours when dreams were the most vivid. Under the feeble glow of dim street lights, the silhouette of a young man could be seen. Nathan, with clothes bearing the signs of many yesterdays and shoes that had seen one too many miles, trudged on. Each step seemed to echo the hardships of his past, yet his eyes were a contrast, still holding on to the stark hope. Every night was a quest for shelter, and every day a struggle for survival. Life's storms had raged, but Nathan held his ground. This evening the cold was biting, and the rain was unrelenting. As he moved through the maze of the city, Nathan's path led him to a more upscale part of town. The mansions loomed, their grandiosity hidden behind tall gates and shadowed trees, a world where Nathan felt like an intruder. It was here, amidst the opulence, that he found a strange sight. A well-dressed young woman sprawled on the wet pavement. For a brief moment, the world seemed to stand still. Panic gnawed at his insides, but his instincts took over. The faint heartbeat and the shallow breathing of the stranger made him recall the CPR training from a recent temporary job. With gentle precision, he positioned her and started the life-saving compressions. With each breath he gave her, he silently willed her to fight, to come back to the world. After what seemed like hours, compressed into minutes, there was a flutter of eyelashes. Isabel, though she was a stranger to him, opened her eyes, dazed and disoriented. Her gaze locked onto Nathan's face, the one beacon in her foggy mind, before the weight of unconsciousness pulled her under once more. There was no identification on her, no clue to who she was or where she belonged. With the rain morphing into a torrential downpour, Nathan knew he couldn't leave her exposed to the elements. The weight of responsibility now rested on his already burdened shoulders. With great effort, he lifted her cradling her with a gentleness that seemed at odds with his rugged appearance. The journey to his makeshift home, a small, abandoned garage, was one of determination. There, amidst his sparse possessions, he laid her down on his makeshift bed, ensuring she was as comfortable as the circumstances would allow. Nathan's thoughts raced. Why was she here? What had happened to her? But above all, a deeper worry plagued him. What if she didn't wake up? The weight of the evening's events began to press down on him, but he pushed the rising anxiety away. Now was not the time for panic, now was the time for patience. Huddled in a corner, with the rain providing a constant background lullaby, Nathan watched over Isabel. The contrasting worlds of the two of them converged in that small, dim place. Their stories were unknown to each other, but fate had intertwined their paths, and in that moment they were inexplicably connected. And as dawn threatened on the horizon, Nathan hoped that with its light, the answers and a new beginning for both of them would emerge. The world was a muddled blur as Isabel's eyes fluttered open. Where was she? The dimly lit room, with its bare walls and frayed edges, was a stark contrast to the luxuriant confines she was accustomed to. For a moment, panic consumed her as she tried to recollect her last memory, only to find a void. Her gaze settled on a figure seated across the room, a familiar yet unfamiliar face. Nathan, sensing her unease, approached her cautiously. "'Hey, you're awake,' he began gently, piecing together the story of their serendipitous meeting. His words painted a vivid picture of that rainy night, the desperate bid to revive her and the subsequent dilemma of where to shelter her. Isabel listened, rapt, but what struck her most was what Nathan left unsaid. Beneath his steady exterior, she sensed deep layers of complexity, stories untold, dreams unfulfilled. As the minutes turned into hours, and the initial shock began to wane, their conversation shifted to dreams. It was here, amidst the raw vulnerability of shared aspirations, that they truly connected. Isabel, with all her wealth and status, confessed her longing to understand the world outside her gilded prison. Nathan's dream was more tangible, but equally poignant. He aspired to be a renowned musician, his melodies touching souls across the world. Their days began to intertwine like notes in a song. Nathan, with a mischievous glint in his eyes, introduced Isabel to the wonders of the city's underbelly. 
Hand in hand, they navigated bustling markets, reveled in the cacophony of street performers, and indulged in the delectable delights of roadside stalls. The sheer simplicity of it all, the raw, unfiltered experiences, were both overwhelming and exhilarating for Isabel. For the first time, she wasn't an heiress, just another face in the crowd. The anonymity, far from being frightening, felt like a heady liberation. And then, with a playful reversal of roles, Isabel initiated Nathan into her world. With a hint of mischief, she whisked him away to opulent parties, the kinds where fortunes were discussed over champagne and caviar. Nathan, with his disarming charm and raw talent, quickly became the center of attention. Influential figures, intrigued by his story and captivated by his music, saw potential in him. One evening, at a grandiose mansion overlooking the city, Isabel nudged Nathan onto a stage. With a borrowed guitar, he began to strum, his voice weaving magic into the night. The audience, a who's who of the city's elite, was spellbound. And as the applause roared and proposals of contracts and collaborations started pouring in, Nathan realized that his dream was on the cusp of becoming a reality. The city, with all its contrasts, became their playground and its embrace. Nathan and Isabel found a shared rhythm. Two souls from disparate worlds, yet their dreams were remarkably intertwined. Through the cacophony of street sounds and the soft murmurs of elite gatherings, their bond deepened, a testament to the unpredictability of life and the timeless power of dreams. The regal mansion that was the seat of the Lorraine family was enveloped in a pall of anxiety. Isabel's absence had stretched from hours to days, with each passing moment amplifying the worry that gnawed at her family's heart. The Lorraine name, synonymous with wealth and influence, spurred them into immediate action. They summoned the best private investigators, sparing no expense in their desperate bid to find their beloved Isabel. It was during the early hours of dawn when a tip led the investigators to a quaint part of town where Nathan's humble abode stood. Without warning, his quiet world was disrupted by a flurry of black-suited security personnel, their stern faces and sharp questions rendering him disoriented. As they scoured his space, their focused attention on Isabel's belongings confirmed Nathan's growing suspicion. Isabel wasn't just another city girl. The weight of her true identity, Isabel Lorraine, heiress to an empire, crashed down on Nathan. He felt a sharp pang of betrayal. The intricate web of emotions, from their shared dreams to the genuine connection they had formed, now seemed overshadowed by the vast chasm of their societal standings. The world he had always deemed unreachable had, unbeknownst to him, been right by his side in the form of Isabel. And with this revelation came a gnawing question— was their connection genuine, or was it just a dalliance for her? Meanwhile, Isabel grappled with the storm of her own emotions, the suffocating embrace of her family, the weight of their expectations, and the looming responsibility of her legacy bore down on her. Yet, amidst this tumult, memories of her time with Nathan shone brightly, each moment a testament to the freedom and authenticity she had experienced with him. The genuine laughter, the stolen moments, the shared dreams, they tugged at her heart, presenting a choice that seemed impossible to make. In a quiet, private moment, she reached out to Nathan. With sincerity in her eyes, she tried to bridge the widening gap between them. Recognizing his deep passion for music and his undeniable talent, she extended an offer, a full sponsorship for his music education at a renowned institution. It was her way of ensuring that his dreams, ones they had often talked about during their city escapades, would come to fruition. But Nathan hesitated. The offer, as grand and genuine as it was, came with its own chains. Accepting it would tether him to the Lorraine legacy, a debt he feared he might never be able to repay. The weight of gratitude he felt might overshadow the pure connection they once shared. In the heart of the city, where dreams and realities often clashed, two souls found themselves at a crossroads. For Nathan, it was a struggle between pride and passion, while for Isabel, it was a battle between duty and desire. And as the city lights flickered, casting shadows of doubt and hope, their futures hung in the balance, waiting for choices to be made. Time, with its unyielding flow, witnessed the evolution of two souls. 
As days melded into weeks, the rhythm of life played on, each beat a testament to change, growth, and self-discovery. In a quiet corner of the city, the strings of a guitar resonated with the deepest desires of a heart. Nathan, with each strum, channeled the whirlwind of emotions that the recent events had stirred in him. The melodies, at times melancholic and at times hopeful, were his solace. The more he played, the brighter his passion for music burned, its flame consuming all the doubts and hesitations that once clouded his mind. With every note, he wove the tapestry of his dreams unburdened by the change of societal expectation. Isabel, on the other hand, embarked on a journey of transformation. The cocoon of privilege she was born into no longer defined her entirety. Inspired by Nathan's resilience and the stark contrast she witnessed in her time with him, she founded a charitable organization dedicated to uplifting the underprivileged youth. The foundation became her purpose, a beacon that guided her through the maze of responsibilities and expectations that came with her surname. It was her way of bridging the chasm between her world and Nathan's, a step towards a more inclusive understanding society. It was the soft strums of a guitar that brought their worlds together once again. At a grand charity event organized by Isabel's foundation, Nathan was the star performer. As the spotlight bathed him in its glow, the murmurs of the gathered elite hushed, replaced by the soulful melodies he conjured. His music told a story, one of heartbreak and hope, of dreams lost and rediscovered. Amidst the sea of faces, their eyes locked. Isabel, elegant in her evening gown, stood transfixed, each note tugging at the strings of her heart. Nathan, in turn, poured every ounce of emotion into his performance, as if serenading her, communicating without words the journey each had undertaken. When the final note resonated, the hall erupted in applause. But for Nathan and Isabel, the world had narrowed down to just the two of them. Time seemed to pause, allowing them a moment of clarity. Amidst the cacophony of claps and cheers, they understood that their bond transcended societal norms, class differences, and the titles of rich girl and poor boy. What they shared was pure, unadulterated connection, two souls resonating at the same frequency. Drawn to each other, they met amidst the throng. Words were needless. Their intertwined hands conveyed all that needed to be said. With a newfound understanding, they resolved to face the world as partners, not defined by their past or societal labels, but as two dreamers determined to carve out their destiny together. The city, with its myriad tales of love and loss, soon buzzed with the story of Nathan and Isabel. Yet theirs was not lauded for its Cinderella-esque charm, but celebrated for its authenticity. It was a tale that showcased the sheer power of human connection, of moments that altered the course of destinies, of heartbeats that defied conventions. Legends are often born from truths, and in the annals of the city's lore, the love story of Nathan and Isabel became legendary, not because it was a fairy tale, but because it was real, raw, and a testament to the heartbeats that forever changed two lives.